So now that I have my flower with a base coat of a warm white, I'm going to add some details with just some acrylic paint. So the customer wanted a rose gold, so I have this Deco Art rose gold, and then just a complimentary blush pink that's going to go along with it. I have two paintbrushes here, um, just a straight flat uh, craft paintbrush that I got off Amazon. It comes in a set. And then I have this little, it's called a stippling sponge. So this is just going to help me smooth out my paint um, as I'm going along. I have my two colors on my board here. I also have a little towel so that I can clean my brush and a little thing with water. This is a spray paint lid, so use what you got. And basically what I'm going to do is just go through and add in some details along the edges here. Since we did cut this out and glue it up dimensionally, you don't have to know a lot of fancy paint paint tricks to add the dimension since you've done that by cutting it. So, I mean, this is just what I do. I'm definitely not a painting expert, um, but again, I'm just going to use my colors. I'm going to go around the edges and then I'll use this sponge to smooth it out. I'm going to speed up the video because it is a very slow process, um, but you'll be able to see what I'm doing um, sped up. And when I'm done, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Using a darker color, I like to go along the edges and over the ridges to give it a bit more dimension. The stippling sponge is a really handy tool because it allows you to smooth out the paint as you go. I will dab the sponge into a little bit of water to really spread out the paint as I'm going. As I get to the outside edges, I'll use the stippling sponge quite freely to really get the color to expand fully outwards with the petals. Again, this is just a base coat, so I will be going over this with other colors. This is just to add that dimension. Once I've let the initial color dry a little bit, I'll add in some complementary colors to further the look of the flower. This is a combination of a darker blush as well as a little bit of white. Once I get the look that I want, I will go back through and start blending those colors together since the paint is still wet. Again, this is really a personal preference and this is just the look that I prefer. And like I said, I'm not a professional painter, but I do think it turns out pretty. So when you're painting your flowers, I really don't have a hard and fast technique that I go by. I really just sort of follow my gut and see what looks good. With flowers, it's really good to use multiple colors. So what I have here is just a standard white, a blush pink, and a rose gold. Um, I did go through and I put the rose gold in each of the crevices just to kind of have that base coat. And then I went through and I used the darker uh, where I wanted to highlight it and let it almost dry but not fully dry and then I brought in the white to kind of smooth it all um, together. With flowers you'll see that a lot of the times you'll have lighter outer edges and then they get darker in the center just um, based on you know how a flower generally looks. So I do try to add a little bit of lightness on the outside edges and then allow it to be a little bit darker on the inside. But again, I'm not a professional painter. Um, this is just what I've done, what I think looks good and we all have our own artistic ability. So if you're an amazing painter, you could probably do a better job than me. Um, but this is just kind of what I do, what I think looks good. And this customer wanted a kind of a rose goldy white flower. Um, so likely what I'll do once I get the petals kind of how I think they should look, I'll do a light kiss of the white uh, spray paint again, just to give it more of a white versus the pink look. And we'll see what it looks like. So basically your lesson here today is just go for it, mess around with it and it's paint. So if you don't like it, you can always go over it again. So you can see there now it is a whitish pink rose. The paint is still drying, but with just some mixed paint, it gives it much more dimension, makes it look much more floral. Um, I'll clean up these edges and then it will be done. So like I said, I'm not a professional painter, um, but I have found that if you add just a little bit of color, um, play around with it to your liking, you can make something pretty, pretty.